How's it going guys? My name is Eric Van Wilderman and welcome back to Geometry Dash. In this video we're going to be doing a demon that's pretty tough actually. It's a new demon by Viper and it's called Iridescent and my god this could be my favorite 2.1 demon. I love the way it plays. It's got some quite difficult bits but the difficult bits are so fun that it doesn't really matter when you die there. You're like whatever. I had fun even though I died, right? It's it's just a really fun level and uh, it was a pleasure learning it. It was so much fun to learn this level. So let's go through one time in practice mode. Um, and yeah, we'll just go through it. Now the beginning has some like tricky timings. You need to like really make sure you, uh, you hit those at the right time. And that right there, what I did is I actually hit the button like three times. So I jump here, boom, right down. Jump, go down that way, and then you hit the button three times because there's like the switch. There's like yellow jump orb switch and then blue jump ring. And then you wait and you hit that green jump ring. Okay, wait! Oh no, I didn't wait long enough. I got a little impatient there. Wait, there we go. And then just hit that black jump ring and now we got a flying section, which isn't too bad compared to like a lot of the rest of the level. You do have to learn how to like straighten yourself out decently. And I guess the hardest part about that flying section is probably just hitting that dash orb properly at the end so hit it properly there we go now we go on to this and the ball part the best advice I can give you is like all the timings here are easy but going down here you can die very easily so the best advice I can give you is right when the ball is on the end I'm already too far I would die if I went down but right when the ball's on the end without hanging off the edge is when you press it it's the only advice I can give oops that was uh too late boom like that yeah, right when it's about to the edge. There we go. And then that one, you gotta only press like very lightly. And uh, it's not that bad after that. No, here you jump right away, so you can hit that. This is all just about jump ring memorization and knowing when to hit them, by the way. Um, it looks easier than it actually is. There are a couple tricky timings there, but overall it's not too bad. It's just something that requires some memorization. So you jump out of there, and then you gotta jump early as the robot. I'll, I'll let you know what I mean if you wait. If you wait through there, you can't make the jump. So, like, you wait, and then you won't make it. You just won't. You gotta jump early! Right? So it's just something you gotta remember. There's a lot of little things like that in this level that you just gotta remember. Okay, dodge that. And one, two, one, one, two, one, two, <laughs> one. <laughs> and then wait. I love this UFO section, by the way. It plays so well. And then uh, you get to, like, a tricky kind of spider area. Okay, so let's talk about the spider section. So you hit it three times in succession. The spider sections are so fast. Let's just memorize that shit, okay? That one's not that hard. There's nothing really special to talk about here. There's one, two, three, boom, boom, boom. Land, go back up, and then don't hit it too early there. That's like the only hint I can give you is that that part, just wait, wait, and then go. Don't hit it too early. And then we change into the wave, and we're gonna get to the batshit crazy four times section really soon. So we go up, and then you gotta hit both of those dash orbs, both of those wave dash orbs, which is actually kind of tricky. That's one of the harder parts of the level is like actually hitting those dash orbs and not just jumping up. Okay, we got a checkpoint here. So go up a little earlier than you think and then one, two, like in succession. And then this part, you just gotta remember what to do. I have no hints really. Like there's four times speed mini wave sections and that's just like, press the button faster than you think you have to press. <laughs> It probably will give you the right timing. Why am I dying here? Boom, 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 boom. There we go. One, two, three. Hit those really quick, but don't hold down the button. Otherwise, you'll jump when you hit the ground. It's really important when you're going through these four times sections that if you hit like a jump rings like that, you don't hold down the button because you're going so fast that you will, um, you'll die, right? You'll hold down the button and you'll accidentally jump when you didn't want to. There's no real advice I can give here. It's just remembering what's coming up. There's no real trick to it. It's just get good at four times, right? <laughs> boom, boom. Like these balls, those ball timings, you don't even really have to time it. You can just like mash it, right? Why am I dying there? Like these ball timings, you just like hit it right away because you're going so fast. And that's one thing is it looks like you have a lot of space, but a lot of these timings, you just hit the button right away because you're going at four times anyways. And like you, you don't have time, right? So you hit that, you hold down the button. That's just like a memorization. Now, a bad habit of mine is doing what I just did, like jumping over the black jump ring. So you just jump and then you wait until you hit it and go there. That's really quick. And that dash orb, you just barely hold down at all. You just basically like tap it. Okay, so let's go over this UFO timing. All right, this UFO timing. Um, one, two in midair, and then you also have to jump twice th through the next one. So I'll show you what I mean. You go 
One, two, one. And then right as you're about to go through that blue portal, you jump again to like aim yourself downwards. All right, that's probably like the tricky bit here. And then after that, it's just like steadying yourself out. One, two, one, two, one, two. Yeah, after that, it's just steadying yourself out. And then it's, this can be a little crazy. And the reason is, is because when you go through it, you're going really fast, you'll want to press it early like that. But you don't do that. You got to like resist the urge. And with those robot jumps, you have to do like the tiniest little jumps. It's just absolutely crazy. So here we go. Boom, boom, one, two, little tiny jumps, jump, and now, as you're, as the top one's falling, you need to jump as the bottom one, when you're the duel. So this is the trick, the trick to it. Boom, and you jump, okay? So we'll, this is an easy wave, but you gotta make sure to hit that dash orb, boom. And now, I'm gonna tell you a little bit of a secret. Don't let Viper know about this secret, okay? You can skip that whole section by just doing that. Um, normally what you have to do is you have to press the button a lot. You go like boom, 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 boom. But, um, there's a chance to die, you know, if you mess up on the timings. And I found I was messing up some of the timings on it. But I, I mean, I can do it, right? But sometimes I would mess up. So, what I like to do is just boom, boom. No effort required. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. Now here, what you do at the ball part is you let the blue jump ring take you up. Now here, I'm gonna press the button once so I'm going down, and then I'm gonna press it again to hit the green jump ring. So let's do that. Boom, boom, so one, two, one. And then that'll make you spit out as the UFO normal, because if you spit out reverse, it's very hard to straighten yourself out. You can, but it's very difficult. So boom, 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 and then you straighten out. And then it's just a matter of kind of like straightening out as the UFO until the end, and then you win. Yay, you win! All right, that took me a long time to explain that. Wow. Um, let's just try a few attempts and then I'm gonna go on to stream, huh? Let's just see if I can get like maybe past the halfway point. See if I can get to like the uh, the fast madness. Why did I die there? That'd be cool. I think the music's pretty intense for this level. Oh yeah, but I think it's like it gets super intense at the drop though later. Ooh. Yeah. Whoa, I almost messed up there. Okay, hey, we're making pretty good progress so far. Jump right away. Oh, you gotta press it really fast there, yeah. Some of those um, jump orb timings, you do have to press really quick. This level has no breaks, you know? You're always doing something. I mean, some levels... Some levels are really hard, but they do have a few breaks in them, right? But this one, it feels like... Ugh! You always have to be focused on what's next, right? There's no time to think. If you don't got it, you're just boned. Okay, we got it. Boom. Good. Oh, you gotta jump right away there. Ooh, I just barely got that. Holy shit. Okay, hey, we're, we're doing pretty decent. <laughs> Dang. <sighs> ah, yeah, 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 I know, um... When you jump there, you go, you like straighten yourself out at the bottom and then, well, by straighten yourself out, I mean you hit the ledge at the top, right? And then you jump twice in succession really quick, like one, two, and then you wait and then one, two. And what I did is I waited till I went one, two, so I got too much height and then I hit the top. So you need to press the button really quick um, or else you'll do exactly what I did and you'll, you'll fail and you'll be sad. Now it says 36% at that point, but that's like about halfway through the level because the four times section at the end kind of counts for like 50% of the level, right? Um, but it's obviously not as long because it's going at four times speed, if that makes sense. It's like, it's the percentage isn't a time-based thing. It's actually like how far along like physically you are through the level, right? So. So it said 36, but re in reality, you know, I was much further than that. There we go. Oh no, and that is a case of me jumping not high enough by pressing them to quick in succession in contrast to what I did before because I needed to get more height there, but instead I pressed them too quick. I was like one, two, and I should have just been like one, two. You know, I am rocking this beginning a lot more than I thought I was going to rock it. I thought I was going to have an obso absolute hard time with the beginning here, but I'm getting like decently far each attempt, which is really heartening. That's really nice. When I first started practicing this, I was having a hard time with this level, 
But, you know, it just, just takes a little bit of a practice. A little bit of practice. I was just nervous, you know, because, uh, there are some tricky bits, that's for sure. This level's certainly not an easy demon. Oh, <laughs> what? I pressed it too early there? I usually always press it either too late or I get it, you know? And I can't believe I pressed it too early. God, we made some progress. I kept on dying to the beginning part. You know, like that. Like, I keep on dying stupid deaths like that. I had some really good attempts at the beginning, and all of a sudden, like, pfft, I'm just losing my timings at the beginning. What? What? I didn't even get to the mini wave. Are you kidding me? I, how did I, how did I go to the top? Oh, well, you know, we got that far. I think I'm gonna switch to stream now. I do want to beat this level on stream. We had a few good attempts, almost got to the 50% mark, which really is probably like 70% time-wise. So, you know, I'm pretty happy with that. So, I'll see you guys on stream. What? I went up? Are you f No, what? I just tapped it a little bit. No way! was too early, I think. Speechless. I am completely speechless. Oh my god. <sighs> this was the most harrowing level I've ever done. <laughs> like, it, I don't even think this is the hardest level I've ever done. But it's the most harrowing. Today I've been streaming for like six hours. <laughs> oh my god. 2,551. <laughs> this level should not have taken me that many attempts. I mean, it's hard. Don't get me wrong. This is pretty tough. Fuck, I'm so glad we did this though. Like I saw Maxis and Viperin's video for this level. And as soon as I watched, I was like, this is crazy. I totally want to do this level because it looks awesome, the song's awesome, and it plays really awesome too. Like, there are some intricate timings you have to learn, but once you learn them, it is really fun, and it's it's a very satisfying level. It's very satisfying. Oh my god, my thumb hurts so bad, it's so red. Probably can't see, but it's so red. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 